Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl J Eli, and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be a little bit more, um, I guess you can say, emotional in in certain ways. I'm going to try not to cry. I probably won't cry, honestly, but um, this video is really important to me. I debated on a while for when I was going to post, but the timing seems perfect now that I'm coming back to YouTube. And you may have seen my last video, which was just telling you guys where I've been at and kind of my plans for my channel. Um, but I really wanted to share a really, really crazy story. And I just thought it was important to be transparent. I actually talked about this in a book, which I'll show you. I was so blessed to be a part of a really, really good um, opportunity to share my story. Um, and it's a book project called Copology. I will drop the link in the bio if you want to buy and support. Um, but yeah, so, and the book is basically about just, um, you know, how do you cope with life struggles and how did like spirituality play a part into it? So this is why I'm sharing my story of my car accident that I got into in January of 2021 and how this car accident pretty much changed my life. So let's go. No one said my awakening would be like this. January 2021, woo! uh 2020 was a heck of a year as we all know covid came and took our lives by surprise and i don't know about y'all but sis i was ready i was ready for telework i wasn't ready for everything to get shut down i wasn't in the mask i just can't but anyways 2021 i was really looking forward to being intentional with 2021 because i kind of started that way with 2020 and then you know things went out of our control so um, the beginning of 2021, I was fresh out of a relationship that had just ended at the end of 2020 with my high school sweetheart, the same guy I've talked to you guys about so long, um, but that's that's the past. We are, that's the past. We are not together. No plans to get back together. Um, so, but yeah, I just want to say, so at the end of 2020, I got into literally the same, within the same month of me and that ex of mine breaking up i um i got into a fight i was driving and i got into a road rage incident where basically this couple like came out their car and basically just started harassing me like they almost hit me they were drunk and so i was drunk too but they almost hit me and like it was crazy they ended up getting out the car I escalated the whole story is on my twitter if you want to figure out what happened maybe i can link the thread to that below i don't know if you can do that but yeah so I got into that fight, um, which was really, really crazy. I ended up catching COVID that same weekend. So I'm just sitting here. Um, I was watching like coronavirus videos on my iPad, like people who had coronavirus because I don't know if I have it so far. I'm hoping that I don't have it. I'm not a fan of my hair either. Like. <sighs> Today, I took my temperature. My temperature was like 97.9. I haven't really got any um, like fevers like that. I haven't have a, got a fever or like every time I've done my temperature so far, there's no fever detected. So it's really kind of interesting because I went out to a Halloween party and I probably, people weren't socially distancing like they should. And I really wasn't doing it as I should so like I like all the way up until now I felt like I was really taking it serious but dealing with this little like breakup or whatever it has made me just like lonely so I really wanted to just get out and like just be around people and just not be in a house so I did that and I feel like it bit me in the butt because I went to another like little outing with another friend and come to find out her friend tested positive for COVID. So I'm like 99% sure I have it, but it's also like, you don't, you don't want to really believe it or like say that you have it because you want to like have hope <laughs> that it's just the cold, but it's like, what else is going around right now? And honestly, I thought that this was like a normal cold until um, 
until I started not being able to smell or taste anything. I moved out of the apartment that I was living to with my ex into my own apartment, literally all within a week of those events happening. Hi, my name is Jayla. Um, I just moved in today and he told me to let you know when I was gonna need the freight elevator and the loading dock. Um, I'm coming over now and I'll be over in about like two minutes, but I'm gonna need the oh. um, loading dock and some dollies. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, no problem, it's Jayla. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay. So, this is it. I'm gone. This is kind of bittersweet, honestly. I feel a little bit sad, but I'm not going to cry. It's just kind of crazy that I'm really leaving right now, you know. It's just, it's just wild, honestly. Um... There's so many crazy memories. It's like my life here. <laughs> wow. But I know it's about to be so much new, good, positive things. I know so much good is going to come from this. It's hard. When you got a lot of memories attached to a place. Mm. But yeah, not going to cry. This is it. We out. So upon me moving, I wasn't, I, I felt really bad. Like after the fight and all of that after happening, I felt really bad. And I wasn't sure if it was COVID or not. I had been like in contact with, you know, people. And, and I was in areas where I could get COVID. So I wasn't sure how I got it. But um I ended up catching COVID, moving, all of that in a nutshell, and it really hit me hard because when I moved, you know, uh, no one could come and take care of me or help me because I had to isolate myself. Um, I couldn't really go to the store like that. Although I technically had to, I did wear my mask and gloves and all of those type of things, but there were, you know, I had to take care of myself and it was hard. And on top of dealing with all of this, I had just started a new job a few months ago. Um, prior so it was just a lot going on in my life okay you get where i'm at sis was going on with a lot dealing with a lot and uh yeah the breakup all of that it just was too much so um i ended up saying okay this is a lot like i told y'all in my last video i'm gonna move home i'm just gonna take some time to get myself together now the move home for me at the time wasn't really financial because i was actually in a pretty good financial position prior to moving um back home but I did feel like I needed some grounding. I felt like I needed to be around my family. It had been years since I literally lived home. This was the first year since I was like 18 where I stayed home like for a consecutive year since 18 years old. So between 18 and 26, that was my first year ever being back home in my hometown consistently for a year straight. Of course, with college, I would come back home. I dropped out. I stayed home for a couple months. But I was always on the go, 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 go. I never really sat still out of the last seven years of my life. Beginning of January 2020, um, 2021, I was kind of already staying with my grandmother. I had like brought clothes over there in December. Um, but I officially moved in with her at the beginning of 2021. Within that first week of 2021, um, I was definitely hurting. And at the time, I didn't know that I was hurting. Um, it didn't feel like I was hurting. It felt like I was okay, but I was hurting. You know, I was hurting. I was healing, dealing with the breakup, dealing with a lot. And um, so, of course, I just started drinking. I was drinking a lot. I was going out a lot. Um, granted, I'm single. I wasn't doing anything too reckless. Like, I wasn't like... Uh, hurting anyone or like being it, it was just like it was reckless drinking you know i was drinking too much so from me drinking all of this um i ended up dating some people you know on a little sneaky link thing and i was just having fun that's just the truth i was at a place in my life where i was just enjoying myself a little too much <laughs> so the night i think this was like january 6 2020 21 i ended up crashing um i ended up going out before i get to the crash i ended up hanging out with someone for the first time ever we had been texting for a little bit but we had never hung out together um i ended up you know hanging out with him that night and i got really really drunk like super super drunk 
Um, and this was before, like, I'm just going to tell you what happened in that order. So I got really, really drunk that night. And, um, you know, where I was, the person told me, like, you can stay. You don't have to leave. It's okay. You stay here. But I was like, no, I got it. I can go. Da, 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 da. Now, earlier that night, um, with me linking up with this person or whatever, we were in the car and we had a conversation. We were talking about cars. And I was like, yeah, you know, I want a new car. This is January 6, 2021. I was like, yeah, I want a new car. I was like, probably at the end of 2021, I'll probably get a new one or the beginning of 2022. I was like, because I never had a car. I was like, I'm looking at a Honda or a BMW or something. So... What I didn't realize right there was that I literally had said an affirmation and I was manifesting a new car and I wasn't like really into manifesting effort. I wasn't really deep, deep in my spiritual journey like I am today. So fast forward that night, I ended up being super, super lit trying to get home. Um, I was drinking earlier that night. So obviously I was drunk and drunk driving and I was trying to catch my exit to go home. And when I tried to like make that turn because I was going so fast, I was speeding. When I went to turn, um, my car just started spinning out of control up the, I forgot what you call it, like the highway exit. It was just spinning out of control um, and I lost control of the car and I literally gave up. <laughs> I literally was like, Jesus, take the wheel, literally. He never took it. It just kept spinning. Nah, he did. He did low-key. Um, but okay, so my car's spinning and I'm kind of just like, I literally, I just remember checking out. I remember there was a moment where I was just like, okay, this is it. Like, honestly, I was just like, I don't know how this is going to end. Um, and it was very, very scary because the ramp, the exit ramp that I had actually turned off on, it was on a hill. So, had my car had flipped, I would have flipped over onto the highway or in some trees or something. Um, so I was just terrified. Like, I was just like, oh my God, just stop spinning. Luckily, my car hit the guardrail and it kind of, boom, and then it stopped. You know, it kept spinning and it stopped. Once it had stopped, um, I remember smoke coming out from my car. Uh, my airbags depleted, everything depleted. And it was late. It was about 1 a.m. or so, maybe 2. So whoever, it was nobody on the road, but there was a few cars that, like, came onto the ramp kind of fast. But luckily, they weren't speeding like I was, so they were able to kind of curve and go around me. I think I hopped out the car for, like, a second to assess my car. But because I was so drunk, I didn't realize the severity of the situation. My car, the rim, the complete, I blew the complete tire out of my car. All I had was a rim. I don't know what was going on in my mind. I'm being honest. I'm taking full accountability. I was drunk. You know what I mean? I was drunk driving. I'm going to get into more. We're going to keep going, but that's what happened. So I crashed the freaking car. I'm at this standstill. I was like, get in the car. I don't know why. Because I was like roughly 20 minutes from my house, maybe 18, 15. It was late, so it's probably a 15-minute drive, honestly. So I thought that I could make it home. So I was like, I'm just going to make it home and I'll worry about it in the morning. And I don't know how. I don't recall my drive home. I was by myself. I don't recall myself driving home. I don't. I remember slowly stopping, I think, on a highway. No, I started driving. So after I crashed my car, I started driving. And like, I drove for a couple miles down that highway and I heard something. I was like, what is that noise? What is that noise? Because at this point, I didn't notice when I when I had first crashed my car. I didn't realize the fact that I had blew out my tire. I just saw my air pack depleted and everything, so I just got in the car and was like, "Well, shit, if I can drive it, I'm gonna keep driving it." But as I'm driving down the road, I'm hearing a scraping noise. I'm like, "What is scraping? What the hell is scraping?" And then I thought about it, and I was like, "Let me stop this goddamn car." Because what if it's like a, a a bumper or something falling off? Lo and behold. It was coming off a little bit, my bumper, but it was the actual tire rim that I was riding on down the highway. Uh, so I made it home some type of way, don't know how, but I made it home. The next morning I woke up and that's when everything hit me. I was like, I thought I had dreamt that I lost my, that I crashed my car, but I literally went outside and was like, oh shit, I really crashed my car. <laughs> this is real, so uh, yeah, so. I go outside, realize that I crashed my car, and I was just like, like I ain't have nothing to say. 
my grandmother where we lived at we had like a balcony so you can kind of see from our balcony our cars and she was like what happened to your car and like the, for like the first month i could not admit that i was drunk like i couldn't i was just like you know what i lost control of the car i was speeding but like i couldn't admit that what had happened so long story short i'm gonna insert the picture here yeah that's what my car looked like that is what it looked like that's crazy right so um at this point i had just moved home i had a little bit of money but i didn't have a whole lot of money because i had to pay money to get out of my lease i had to pay like four thousand almost just to move i ain't no baller okay i ain't balling like that but i had to pay that amount then this is the crazy part when i moved back home with my grandmother before i crashed that car it had broke down so i had to pay like 600 to get the car fixed i had only had my car back for like a week and then i crashed it so it's like i had blew all this money to move to get my car fixed just to turn around and crash my car i was like man you cannot be serious but um because of where I lived that I really couldn't get around like that. Like, of course, they have Ubers and everything. But, like, I was, like, in the suburbs, like, Alameda County. So, it's, like, if I really wanted to do anything, I would have to be kicking out, like, $50, 60 in Ubers to be going where I'm trying to go. And so, after I crashed the car, all of that, this to be in the 2021, January, I told myself, like, okay. I was, like, obviously, you need a new car. So, my brain shifted into hustle mode. I'm like, okay, it's time to save, like save, save for real. Because like I told you, I had been saving, but not really. And what I did save, technically, I kind of had to spend um, to, you know, get out of my apartment, move, all of that type of stuff, all of this. So for the pretty much the entire month of January, 2021, I just sat still. I sat the fuck down. I stayed in the house every day. I didn't really do anything other than like go out, hang out with my family. And like, that was really it. That's all I did. Um, but in that time, I really started meditating. I started uh, doing more research on spirituality. Um, I started just making a plan for my life. And um, I remember having a journal, which I have. Maybe I can take a picture of it and insert it. But in my journal, I had wrote down like all my goals for the year. And I just, I was like, I'm going to get intentional. Like after the accident happened, I was just like, God is trying to wake you up. Like, he wants you to be intentional. He wants you to really, he wants you to do what he put in your heart for you to do. He wants you to fulfill your purpose, to follow your path. He wants you to do what you've been called to do, Jay, which is create and inspire people to create and heal through creating. So I'm like, okay, I know what I need to do, but I'm like, okay, but before I can do this, I need to get myself together and my life together. So I said, all right, I'm going to get serious with it. So I started writing down my goals based upon um, like my physical goals, my mental health goals, my career goals, my finance. I started writing everything down. And this was the first year, like I said, where I really got specific and intentional with every year of my life. I always had goals. I always had things I wanted to get done, but this was that. So after a month, I had ended up saving, I don't know how much I had saved, honestly. I think I might have saved like 4K or something up, maybe 3K. I don't know. I had saved something up. But I had enough to put a down payment on my car. Um, and I had done extensive research because I was like, whatever I get, I want to make sure I can afford. My grandmother had recently purchased a brand new car. She's purchased a lot of cars, but you know, and paid them all right and all of that type of stuff. And so she was giving me advice on like what to look for and like, you know, warranties and all that. Cause I didn't know nothing and I didn't want to get got. Um, so I did extensive research on like all the different cars I wanted. It was between like a Tesla BMW and the 2021 Honda Accord. I was like, I'm gonna go with the 2021 Honda Accord because it's the most affordable, most reliable. Um, and it'll last me the longest, you know, especially if I, if, it, if I get a brand new. So I wrote down I want a brand new 2021 Honda Accord. Now, I didn't think I was going to get like, honestly, I thought I was going to get something with a couple miles on it, you know, whatever, whatever. But so February, that following month in February, so it was a little over a month. It was about a month and a half that I had saved. But I remember February 22nd, I think it was, or February 20th, either day, last 2021, I went to Honda with my mom and I went in to get a car and I seen all of these cars and I knew what I wanted. I wanted the I wanted the white Honda with the interior with leather interior seats. Um 
but I couldn't find like they didn't I don't know they didn't have it so we walked into the showroom inserts footage okay, <laughs> and I see okay. the car and I'm like yeah and I got I like in the car this. and I was like yeah I this like is it. it I was like this, this is the one I want yeah. so when I, I first this. came in there they was kind of looking at me bad. like trying to like get me to buy like cheaper cars and everything but what they did not know is that since oh, I had a job okay, I had a good job you know making my little 60k a year or whatever um and I had been working on my credit and everything. I had credit, so it was like, I walked in there and he ran my credit and he was like, yeah, you're approved, like you can get on all day. Is also, this How long do it usually take before? Two, three hours to buy a car okay. properly. So all the- Just bought my first car, gang, gang, ah. That was an amazing situation for me because I felt like, wow, like, it was all a part of the plan. He, God knew I was gonna crash my car. He knew I was gonna get myself together. Um, and I really manifested that car because I said I wanted a new car a little over a month ago, crashed my car the same night, saved, and got a brand new car, first owner. No one has owned my car except for me. I think my car had like 60, 70 miles on it when I first got it because of the dealership. But other than that, I'm the only owner of my car. It's great, it's reliable, I haven't had no problems. Um, so that's just a small testimony. Now fast forward and throughout the rest of the year. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get intentional. I realized that in my relationship, I hadn't really put a lot of energy into like my friends and my family. Like I was one of them girls who like, I low key got into a relationship and kind of forgot about everything else outside of it. One, because the relationship just took so much out of me on an energetic level. And two, because I just didn't know how to love properly. Like, I was one of those people who would be all in and give somebody everything. And now I'm learning that that's not healthy. I wasn't loving in a healthy way. And as a result, um, you know, it really hindered my friendships and um, my friendships and my relationships with family members. And because I had been in college and been away, it was just all the perfect timing. 2021 felt like a homecoming to me because I literally came home, but I was coming home to myself, to the core of who I was. Um, so a lot of things started coming up. Childhood trauma, a lot of things I was dealing with, like conversations. I just, all of this stuff started coming up. So I said, okay, I'm going to get in therapy. So I got in therapy and I started going to therapy like once a week. Every week I was going to therapy. It was a lot of money, I won't lie, but it was worth it. Because, um, you know, I started seeing things outside of myself from this unbiased perspective. I started really healing, you know, it was working. So I continued to go through therapy all throughout 2021. Um, but I also started doing like spiritual work. I started really working with my crystals um, and meditating. And by meditating, I mean just being alone with myself and my own thoughts and truly just reflecting. I spent so much time reflecting on what I had been through and the mistakes that I made and changes that I needed to change in my life. Um, I started dating intentionally. I was like, I'm going to date to actually date, not to just have sex with people. Um, I was celibate for a little bit, not that long. I think I did like two months, almost three months. Um, but the, the point is, I just started really putting time into myself. Um, I made a goal to do all of these photo shoots. I did like photo shoots back to back to back. I traveled. I did so much with my time and it was all for me like it wasn't for another man it wasn't for validation i really really poured into myself i poured into my friendships i poured into my spirituality and into my relationship with god i started praying every day like literally i started praying after i got into the accident i was so shooken up and i had ptsd that's also a reason as to why i had to kind of start therapy because um i couldn't sleep like for months at a time i did not sleep when when i say i didn't sleep i mean i slept for like two hours and then i would pop up and then i would be up all night and it's that's where my spiritual journey really just like it kicked into full gear um i got on tiktok and i started sharing my spiritual journey um from there i kind of started building a following and connecting with other people i also started getting into tarot really heavy um learning tarot for myself uh, I started doing readings on myself, but I also would watch readings. Um, so all in all, I would just say that car accident, it kind of like put
push me into reality in a sense. It seemed like before the car accident, it seemed like I was just kind of like laxy daisy in my head. Like I didn't really value my life and I didn't value the people lives around me to be completely honest. Um, but that accident was like, no, I, I kept telling myself, I was like, no, because after that accident, I just kept getting downloads. I just kept getting confirmations and every all of these um, synchronicities. I'm not good at that word. But everything just started to sync up. Everything, it was all of these signs coming from the universe. And, you know, I can go on that for days. But it, it was just crazy how, how it, the world just kind of opened up to me. Um, and, you know, I stopped focusing on men. I just was like, no, I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on my money. Um, I got my bartender's license, so I really took advantage of 2021 in the best way possible for myself. You know, if I could go back and look at myself January 2021 and look at myself today, you know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy, it's amazing, the growth, and I'm really grateful. And I'm sharing this story, um, one, to say, you know, don't drink and drive, obviously. If we hear it all the time, that we know, don't drink and drive. Um, through therapy, I realized that I did have somewhat of a drinking problem. It wasn't like I was an alcoholic. My issue with drinking was more so that when I did drink, I didn't know my limit. And I was putting myself in danger because prior to then, I've always been drunk with my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend. I always had him around. He was always there to look after me. I always had friends. But, you know, being single, it is very different. You know, you have to protect yourself. Um, that's another thing. I got my... Um, handgun license and I got a firearm so and I went to the range I did so much last year that like honestly I need a video for every single thing that I accomplished but I just wanted to share this because you know I I, I really feel like you know in my relationship prior to us breaking up I feel like God just kept giving me these seeds of like this is not where you're supposed to be at this is what I, you're supposed to be over here like this is your purpose in life. I have somebody else for you that will match that purpose, but I couldn't see it. And it was just so hard for me to walk and move forward and let go and all of that type of stuff. And then the accident, boom, kicked it in the gear. Um, I started making music after I got into the accident because I was just sitting at home. I didn't have anything to do in that, that time where I didn't have a car. Um, and I ended up recording a song, which is now my first single. So yeah, my energy is shifting. I can feel myself, I'm drifting I can feel myself, I'm slipping My energy is shifting Starting to feel different So, I just feel like the accident really helped things fall into place in my life And it helped me see what was important And it really motivated me to take my life seriously And to stop wasting time It was just like I don't know, I guess it's cliche, but in all honesty, my life flashed before my eyes in that accident. And I walked out without a scratch. I broke one fingernail, but my whole car was totaled. Do you not understand, like, on a spiritual level, like, my entire car was trash. I didn't hit nobody. Nobody hit me. God wanted me to be alive for a reason. So that's all I could think after that. And I just kept saying that. I said, God, I'll never waste your time again. I'm going to... I'm going to be very intentional with what I do with my time, with living um, and my purpose and using my skills and my talents. Like, I ain't trying to get taken out. I just started enjoying life, you know. So, um, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up there. But I will get further into, you know, some other videos. You'll start seeing more videos pop up. I don't have a, um, a set post day or anything like that. I'm kind of just getting started. So bear with me. We'll get on a, um, a set schedule where I'm posting videos on a regularly. But for now, I really just wanted to share that because that's been on my heart for a while. And I wanted to talk about it for a while. And I know for a lot of people who follow me online and even like, you know, distance acquaintances and everything. I know there's a lot of people who are probably wondering, like, what the heck is she going through? Like, and I shared it briefly on my Instagram, but I thought this would be the best way to share it. Um, and I just wanted to say back to the drinking and driving part, you know, don't drink and drive, like for real. It, it sounds so cliche, but just don't do it. You don't want to have to risk your life or risk somebody else's life. You don't want to have to almost lose your life to get a wake up call. Like, and that's what it really showed me was like, I don't want no more wake up calls in life. I want to just be alive and present and here 
and appreciate it and not take advantage and be safe and be smart so that I'm not in these situations again um, but more so so that like you know I got little cousins I got siblings I got a little brother I got nieces and nephews I have people who are looking up to me and they look at me as a role model honestly and I had to really think about that you know like what would I be leaving behind that was another thing like for me it was like creating um you know this is <laughs> I know I love to talk, but okay, lastly, one of the biggest things was when I had that wake up call, I couldn't see anything that I had accomplished that I truly, truly wanted for myself in a creative aspect, which is what motivated me to like make music and um, really push my Instagram and my TikTok and stuff because I was like, dang, like I died, like what was it all for, you know? So that's why I became intentional. If I leave this world, I want to leave behind a legacy with me, you know? I want people to remember my name for something, specifically for something creatively and spiritually. But, um, you know, that really stuck with me. And I hope that you all learn from my mistakes. If you have any questions about my accident or anything that you heard in this video that you want to know more about, if you have ideas for videos that you would like to see, please leave them in the comments below. I'm just now getting back on YouTube, y'all, so like I'm a little rusty, so hope sis out, okay? But remember, thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs down, you a hater, and you need to subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell, I mean, you click the bell, so you can get notifications every time I post, because when I tell you sis is back, she's back. And I'm better than ever. Better heart, better mind better you know what I mean physique better life we just we leveling up mentally spiritually emotionally innately we are leveling up and I'm so happy that y'all get to be here with me and follow me on this journey because the girl is gonna be she gonna be somebody okay um so thanks for watching I'll see y'all in the next video Doofy.